everyone, it's Angie and welcome back to Is This Legit? Where we find viral claims online and teach you some fact-checking tricks so you don't fall for or spread misinformation. So the coronavirus vaccine is here. And while it is becoming more widely available, plenty of people still aren't eligible to get one. Which means that COVID tests are still a reality. And there is still a ton of misinformation out there about these tests. Take a look at this video which claims that the COVID tests contain live nanoparticles called morgellons, and getting the test allows these to enter your brain. They're putting nanoparticles right into your head. I know this for a fact because this material, these fibers, these silver fibers right here, these come out of my body. They're called morgellons. But is that silver looking strand really proof that live nanoparticles are in the COVID test? Time to find out, is this legit? So this video went super viral across a whole bunch of platforms, but there were a few things that instantly stood out to me with this. For one, the YouTube description says nanobots, while the person in the video says that those silvery strands that they saw after they bust open the COVID test were nanoparticles. Nanoparticles are super tiny, microscopic. I looked it up and nanoparticles range between one to 100 nanometers in size. Just to put this in context, a sheet of paper is about 100,000 nanometers thick, according to the National Nanotechnology Initiative which studies this stuff for the US government. So it is impossible to see nanoparticles with just a naked eye. Still, what are those silver flecks coming out of the COVID test? And what are Morgellons? For this video, we're gonna rely on looking for clues from within the video itself. And in the video, the COVID test they are looking at is from a brand called Classic Swabs. So let's go ahead straight to the source and see if we can find out more. I went on their website and found the three materials their swabs are made with, rayon, polyester, and cotton. Doing another search to see if rayon or polyester are shiny, it turns out that both materials, especially rayon, can be visibly shiny, especially when you shine a light on them, like what we saw in the video. And I did yet another search of rayon polyester COVID test to see if there was any other reporting on why these specific materials are used. And I actually stumbled across a fact check from Reuters. They fact checked the same video and, spoiler, they gave it a false rating. According to their reporting, like we suspected, those silver specks are not nanoparticles. Instead, they wrote that the CDC actually advises that only synthetic fiber swabs are used to collect samples, since other materials could potentially inactivate the virus and affect molecular tests. So those silvery flecks are not live nanoparticles, but bits of synthetic material. Okay, we still haven't talked about Morgellons yet. Luckily, Reuters covers this too. According to the article, Morgellons disease is an unproven skin condition in which sufferers report fibers being released from sores on their body. While some doctors have labeled this disease as a delusion, other researchers report that some people potentially could be suffering from actual infection. Regardless, Reuters wrote that the claims that Morgellons disease are alive nanoparticles and are the same material as what was on that COVID test are baseless. Now, another claim in the video is that the silver strands were moving on their own, proving that they are alive. But Reuters reported that polyester is actually known for building up static charges more than most other fabrics, which might be why it looked like the strands were wiggling on the tweezers. Still, when it comes to video evidence, stay skeptical and be on the lookout for any potential red flags. For one, the video is of lower quality, so we can't be sure of what we're seeing on camera. For two, while it does look like that the silver fleck is moving, we don't know if there could have been a fan in the room contributing to that. Now, before we get to the rating for this video, while doing research for this fact check, it became clear that there are a lot of false claims circulating social media about COVID tests and nanoparticles. And now, similar misinformation about COVID vaccines are going around. According to another Reuters article, there are claims that the lipid nanoparticles in the vaccine contain small robots or computers. And PolitiFact recently fact-checked a claim that the COVID-19 vaccines contain nanoparticles that are similar to microchips in pets that then allow you to be tracked through 5G networks. PolitiFact gave this one a pants on fire rating. And both reported that yes, the COVID vaccine contains lipid nanoparticles, but nanoparticles refers to the size. And remember, nanoparticles are teeny tiny, definitely too small to resemble a computer chip that can track you. So just be careful when you see claims like these on social media. 
take the time and do a couple of keyword searches before jumping to conclusions. Especially when something online sounds pretty scary. But as for our rating, we'll give this specific video a not legit rating. The strands from the testing swab seen in the video are shinier, not because they are nanoparticles or nanobots, but because they are made out of synthetic fibers. I hope that helped ease everyone's minds. And as always, the sources for this fact check are found down below in the description. And if you ever need help fact checking something, feel free to send it our way. Bye. Don't compromise, be media wise.